confidence in the economy over the next four years could earn President Donald Trump just enough support from blacks, Hispanics and Asians to get re-elected in 2020, according to the latest poll from Zogby Analytics. Further, it also might be enough for Republicans to hold their majorities in Congress this November, too, Zogby reports. The results, according to Zogby, 43% of Hispanics think the economy will be good to excellent. 39% of Asians think the next four years will be good for the economy. 25% of blacks think the economy will be good to excellent. While the majority of each group leans the other way, the economy will be fair to poor the next four years, it still might be enough to propel Trump to another term. All three minority groups, Hispanics, African Americans and Asians, lean heavily Democratic and should play a role in efforts by Democrats to take back the House in the 2018 midterms, Zogby wrote in its analysis. Majorities of Hispanic, Asian and African American voters sampled disapprove of President Trump and do not feel the economy is going to be good over the next four years. It's no surprise that each group is not too optimistic about the economy and does not approve of Donald Trump, Zogby analyzed. Even though President Trump receives little support from these groups, things might be going just good enough economically that he can scrap enough support from these groups so that Republicans can retain control of Congress and Trump gets re-elected in 2020, Zogby concluded. Zogby Analytics surveyed 354 Hispanic, 321 Asian and 357 African American likely voters nationwide. The poll was conducted online June 4 to 6 and has a margin of error of 5.2 percentage points per group. Politics The latest poll from Zogby Analytics reveals confidence in the economy over the next four years could earn President Donald Trump just enough support from blacks, Hispanics and Asians to get re-elected in 2020. John Zogby, Minorities, Support, Trump, Re-election 295 Friday, the 29th of June, 2018, 12.16 p.m. to 018 Friday, the 29th of June, 2018, 12.16 p.m. Newsmax Inc., Newsmax Inc., Newsmax Inc.